Uh, when did you discover what you have? I was told. I didn't really discover it. I kind of feel like I am a skeptic. I'm much more skeptical than I am, you know, cynical. People are. It's, there's a big difference between being cynical and skeptical. I'm an explorer, and uh, at 15, I had a reading. A woman was at my grandmother's house doing doing readings for my family, and I was going to prove to them that she wouldn't be able to read for me. And she's the one who told me I had this ability and that I would be doing this. Um, <clears throat> that would have been a bit of a shock. A little bit. Given what you were trying to prove. Yeah, and I, I, I want you to just keep in mind, 15, sophomore in high school, kind of cocky. You know, I'm going to show you adults that this is not something that she'll be able to do for me. It was a life-changing experience. She was very powerful. When she told you that... Did other things start to uh, make sense that might have been happening? Not initially. Right. It wasn't like she did the reading for me. And the first part of the reading was kind of like a little off. Kind of, it was just, just very, when somebody tells you that you have highly evolved beings of white and gold light that are ready to work with you, you kind of, you don't take that so seriously when you're not open to the subject matter. Especially when you're, when you're, um, uh, your mission was to prove it all a lot of rubbish. Yeah. She was doing her job very well for me. I was like, I was like, okay, check. Um, and then, you know, part two. Kind of made sense for me. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, that applies. But I, then I thought about it, and I thought about four other guys that I went to high school with that I could make it apply to. It was the last part that got me. And the last part were things that she could not have known, that she could not have lucky guessed, things that she then projected future outcomes for that made no logical sense, so it wasn't a leap that you could make. Then all of that happened. So that freaked me out. So that, that freaked me out and got my attention. And then I paid attention to the other part, which is what she said I could do this. And it was more when I started studying the subject matter and I started studying parapsychology and metaphysics and astrology, numerology, and all the aspects of the world of energy that I went, okay, well, hold on here. There's something, this is kind of normal. Like we all do this. 